Welcome back everyone, it's Saturday, it's time for the Saturday update and have a look where the average is. So we had eight crosses this week, uh, we had 18 last week but only eight this week and that's fine because there's eight judges normally in there so I think it's a good representation of the judges. Although I have to say I think our members of the public are far better judges than the actual judges are. Um, so interesting spread this week, all grouped roughly in the same sort of area. I think we've all gone similar thing for height. Let me just draw some lines in there then and... Uh, uh, and we'll see sort of um, where we are. Now, there's eight crosses and they are spread out, but I think they're all legitimate. I think every one of them could be um, uh, a judge's cross. So I think the judges will go in, in this area. And this guy on the right, Baldy, he's a long way away, isn't he? And when you look at his field of view there, that's quite a narrow band. And it's not even that wide from the guy that's uh, down here. So uh, that doesn't look too bad, does it? They're for the right-hand side of the post to the left-hand side of the post. Uh, so the average is obviously, obviously going to be in the middle of the post somewhere, which is where a lot of people seem to think it was. So uh, let's have a look at the average. Let me just get the um, crosshair down. So there's the average. I quite like that average. I don't think that's bad at all. Let me just hover over my uh, my cross that I put in in the first place. I'll make my cross flash so you can see where it is. So I'm just above the average. Now my cross was the first one in there. So I'm not far out from where the average has gone. So I'm tempted to go slightly, slightly higher than the average uh, and slightly to the left of it. So I'm going to move mine. Um, I'll take all these out in a bit and I'll move my... Uh, my crop. I'll put the average back in so I can see where it was and then I'll uh, move it. Oh, I haven't said what it was, have I? 1647978. I'll put that up on the screen now. Uh, let's get the uh, target up and have a look how that target looks. Laptop's running a bit slow today. i got so many things running. So that's about it. That's about the area there. So, do we think that's okay there? Are they both looking at uh, zone one? Mm, I'm, st yeah, I'm still tempted to think that uh, this fella down here is looking slightly left of that uh, of that average. Well, that might be just the way I'm looking at it. But with the target in there, I think maybe slightly left of the average. Or maybe it's just the lines I've drawn are throwing me out. Anyway, uh, that's the uh, that's the average for this week. Um, if that's all you've come for, then you can probably stop the video and go about the rest of your day. And let me know how you got on on Tuesday. In the meantime, I'm going to have a look at the bundles that they've done this week to see what I think of them, see which one I might go for. So this is one of the bundles for this week. This is the uh, luxury bundle. Audi RS5 and it's the Vorsprung so it's got uh, it's got all the kit on it the Vorsprung is usually about 12 grand extra um, nice car would I have it mm, possibly yeah yeah um, I'm not really into watches or handbags so obviously I take the watch Harrods 5,000 pound to spend I can't think of anything I'd want to buy in Harrods for 5,000 uh, pound having said that obviously it's one of the best places to shop and £5,000 probably wouldn't go that far when you actually went in there and walked around. If you said to the guy in the door, I've got £5,000 to spend, he'd probably send you to the canteen and say, well, you can afford a cup of coffee and half a baguette. Uh, and £5,000 for secret escapes. I don't know if you have to spend that in one go or whether it's £5,000 worth of holidays, because it says you could book a, you know, a cracking holiday. But could you split that up into two or three holidays? I don't know. You probably could. I mean, it's, it's five thousand pounds worth rather than a holiday. But uh, yeah, that's not that's not a bad price. This one's an interesting one. This is the performance bundle, and it's the uh, Porsche with the Litchfield tune. And this, I think, this is a bit too specialist for most people, isn't it? I mean, there's no sort of cash with this or pri other prizes as such. Um, you've got a day at Palmer Sport, so you can. Uh, race cars on the track but other than that it's uh, it's basically a Porsche that's been uh, tuned by Litchfield although if you look at the spec it is quite uh, uh, it, it is quite um, 
if you look at the miles per gallon, it is 29.727.4 to the gallon. I have no idea what's going on there. I can only guess that that's two separate figures. There should be 29.7 and 27.4 is something else. But the whole thing looks weird. But the BOTB site is riddled with mistakes and typos. So yeah, I uh, I'm not convinced many people will go for this one because I think it's a bit too uh, bit too specialist. This is an interesting one, the Rolex bundle. Now, first of all, I thought, why is that even on there? That's not a dream car, is it? But then when you think about it, I think more people, to, due to the lack of collection videos we see, I think most people take the cash. So the fact that it's um, 50 grand cash, a Rolex watch, which is 20 grand's worth, plus uh, a holiday to Mykonos, I thought, yeah, that'd probably be quite a popular... Uh, Although where you'd wear that, I don't know. Who's, where, do you, where are you going to wear the £20,000 watch? You wouldn't want to keep it in a house video unless it's in the lock and key and everything. But it's a nice little price, that. Um, 50 grand plus some nice goodies and a holiday. Yeah, I, I quite like that one. I wouldn't play for it, but I quite like it. We've also got the Abt bundle. Now, this is the Audi S3. Now, I like the Audi S3 because uh, it's fast four-wheel drive and yet it's quite subtle it's not as mental looking as the uh, rs3 i've never quite understood the point of the abd modifications so from my point of view here if you're going to get if you were a customer and you went to buy an s3 would you then spend all the extra uh, to make it faster and have a body kit on it well you wouldn't would you you'd go out and buy an rs3 i i would think so i can't really see the point of it but it does look spectacular. It's a lovely looking car and it's 50 grand with it. And I think that will appeal to people. If there was, if I had to pick, if it was only bundles you could pick this week and I had to pick, I think this would be, uh, probably be one of my choices because it looks, it looks stunning. It's fast, four wheel drive, 50 grand in a pocket as well. I'd probably have this before I'd have the camper bundle. And let's talk about the camper bundle. Now, as many of you watching will know, if you've watched for a long time, I basically want a camper. I don't play for the campers because uh, most of the campers they've got on you are not really what I'm looking for. And some of them are not even available, but they keep advertising them. Uh, but this prize is uh, the Volkswagen Camper, California Ocean. Four bikes. Now, I'm a single guy, so four bikes is no good to me. If you're a family of four, fantastic prize. Uh, and then there's 5,000 to spend at North Face on clothes and shit. Um, I wouldn't spend five grand, would I? A 5,000 pound at Go Outdoors, which is camping supplies and stuff. Now, bear in mind, have a look at that, Go Outdoors. Because down in the uh, in the description, they've got in a couple of different places, um, where is it? Thousands of pounds worth of North Face and Go North vouchers. Yet another typo, and they've repeated it down here. North Face Voucher, 5,000, Go North Voucher, should be Go Outdoors. It's what I was saying, BOTB is riddled with mistakes. Um, if you look at the spec here as well, this is the highest spec California you can get. 196 brake horsepower, 2 litre diesel with 4 motion all wheel drive. Now, you haven't been able to order a California with 4 wheel drive for at least 6 months that I know of. Volkswagen took it off their configurator page back last year uh, because of problems getting past, and yet they're still advertising it but it's a nice price it doesn't suit me being on my own but it would suit a, a family of four so that's that's a crack little price there all right let's have a look at the last one then the tesla i right, use the last uh, bundle so far this week there'll be another one tomorrow on sunday but here's the last the tesla ev bundles the tesla model y nice cars two electric bikes and the tesla power wall so you end up with a, a, a roof full of uh, solar panels and then it's all stored in some big tesla batteries or whatever so uh, you can run your house and charge your car and your bikes and everything off this i like it nice prize if you want to go into that environment wouldn't suit me i don't own my own house at the moment so i couldn't sort of there'd be no good to me it would end up taking the cash so if i'm going to take the cash then i just will go for a different prize with more cash at night which is why I probably play for the um, the Lamborghini Urus this week. I'll have my free ticket on whatever I picked, and I'll have one other ticket on the uh, on the Urus because it's the highest value. 
Here we are, guys. I haven't bored you too much with my uh, my quick look at all the bundles for this week. Um, good luck for this week, and let me know on Tuesday how you got on. Enjoy your weekend. Cheers, everyone.